My name is Gonzalo Guzman Camaño. Today, I'm going to tell about something terrible that happened to me. I couldn't keep it to myself any longer, so I decided to write it down for the sake of my sanity. But just to know that everything that happened to me is all true. It all started one night, two weeks ago, until I got an unexpected visit of an old friend of mine. His face was pale, and his body was rapidly shaking. He was holding a blue flash drive in his right hand. He slowly held up into my face. Take it, he whispered. Even though I was scared, I did what he said. I got the flash drive and put it into my pocket. But immediately after, my friend put his hands into his face and started to cry silently. But after that, he falls into the ground. His cries became more intense until became screams of agony. I was terrified until I asked to him what happened and if it was alright. He kept screaming and shaking on the ground for a couple of seconds. Then, he stopped breathing. I was screaming for help and my mom went towards me. The rest, I prefer not to remember. The day of his funeral was one of the most saddening events I ever experienced. And seeing my friend's entire family cry for him destroyed me inside. The autopsy said that the cause of the death was because of an epileptic seizure, but they never asked me for my side of the story. I never knew why. When I got home, I locked myself on my bedroom and began to cry, replaying the moments of his death over and over and over again. Then I remembered the flash drive. I searched my pocket and found the flash drive. Then I went to my computer room and closed the door. At first, I hesitated to connect the flash drive on my computer. I felt totally terrified at the moment, but I had to see what was in there. I turned on the computer, and then as soon as it loaded, I started the flash drive. A window appeared say that the flash drive got a couple of folders. One had a document written in a language I couldn't understand. The other one, I opened without thinking. The folder contained a file called sonicthehedgehog.exe. I noticed that the name was misspelled, but found nothing at it. I tried to open the file, but then an error message appeared. I don't remember exactly what it said, but I only remember seeing something about the file not existing. I felt a little relief, but then I remembered that the name itself was misspelled, so I managed to fix the file by correcting the name more than once, so I added an E to the word hedgehog. The file allowed me to correct the name, leaving it as sonicthehedgehog.exe, but that's when I remembered. My dead friend loved Sonic the Hedgehog. I felt a little dread when I remembered this, but I calmed down since Sonic was just a friendly blue fictional character. I opened up the rename name file, and then the screen went completely black, and then this is what I got.